Grammar 4, Chapter 14, Gerunds and Infinitives, Part 1. The Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to understand the fundamentals of gerunds, use gerunds as the objects of prepositions, identify common verbs that are followed by gerunds, demonstrate the ability to construct go plus gerund, and recognize special expressions followed by ing. Introduction. Let's understand what a gerund is first. A gerund is the ing form of the verb. Gerunds are verbs that are used as nouns. In other words, by adding ing to any verb, you can change the verb into a noun. Gerunds are often used at the beginning of sentences when focusing on an activity as the subject of conversation. Examples. Playing football is good for your health and good fun. Listening 20 minutes a day to English will help improve your understanding of the language. It's also possible to use gerunds in any other position in a sentence as a direct object of a verb. Examples. Ahmed enjoys listening to recitations of the Quran. Talal admits spending too much money on cars. Prepositions plus gerunds. What do I mean by that? Well, gerunds are also objects of prepositions. This means that whenever a verb follows a preposition, use the gerund or ing form of the verb. Using gerunds as the objects of prepositions. A gerund is frequently used as the object of a preposition. Examples. We talked about going to Dubai for our vacation. Ahmed is in charge of organizing the meeting. I'm interested in learning more about your work. To is a preposition, not part of the infinitive form. So, a gerund follows. Let's pay attention to to, which is a preposition. Examples. I'm used to sleeping with the air conditioner on. I'm accustomed to sleeping with the air conditioner on. I look forward to going home next year. They object to changing their schedule at this late date. The negative form. Please note that not goes before a gerund. Example. We talked about not going to the game, but finally decided we should go.